Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a swatch fest and review of Stila's new Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Wanted to make sure I had it because it's a mouthful. If you guys are thinking the Magnificent Metals name, it sounds familiar. It's probably because they also, I'm pretty sure they still carry these. These are the Magnificent Metals... Oh no, the whole name isn't on here. I think it was like foiled finish eyeshadow. The metallic finish of the new shadows are like this times 50. I will say I did like these. I still do, but these are definitely much more difficult to work with than this. The video isn't about this, but basically this came with a, like a little liquid dropper. You mix it and you create almost kind of like a foiled paste onto your eyes. But if you're into like high metallic foil finishes, glitter, this is going to be your jam. This is basically love at first sight. The second I saw like the sneak peek of this on I think Trend Mood and Stila on Instagram, I was like, I have to have those. I can already tell you this may be a bit premature since it's only January, but this is a hands down going to be in my 2017 favorites. If you guys caught my 2016 favorites, I was a huge fan of the Touch and Soul Metalist eyeshadows. I just love anything like super metallic and glittery. These are just phenomenal. I love these even more than that just because it's like a one and done product. So a quick overview of the product. There are 10 shades total. I believe you can find all 10 of the shades exclusively on stilacosmetics.com or you can find like a majority of the shades on both Sephora and Ulta. I believe both of those stores have like a select exclusive shade as well, but all the products and like little details will be listed down below. No, it's not sponsored. I did receive these as PR though. It's funny because I'd ordered two on Sephora and then I received these the next day. Like it was a total surprise. Definitely a good surprise. I'm really excited to swatch them all for you. I love these just because as I mentioned earlier, it's a one and done product. When I first read liquid eyeshadow, I was like, that's gonna be a hot mess. It just sounds like a disaster waiting to happen because anything that's like really liquidy and creamy tends to crease. These don't at all. I've been wearing this since like seven something now. It is now 139. I normally never do my makeup that early, but I got about like 430 and couldn't go back to sleep. Maybe it's because I was so stoked on these. These are $25 a piece, but I can already tell you they are worth every single penny unless you're not into like foiled or glittery goodness or not that makes me sad because I just love all things sparkly so these come in this cute little square barrel container the lid is gold most of Stila's packaging is gold which I love gold if you couldn't tell so it has this doe foot applicator did you guys hear that I love that sound so when you look at it it's kind of like it's definitely liquidy to the touch but on this applicator it kind of looks like it would be a bit creamier so if you just apply this in a thin even coat so you don't have any issues with fallout or anything normally when working with a glitter you have to use some sort of glitter glue these you don't it's just this product it has this gorgeous like foiled finish I think all but maybe two or three shades have like an opaque base there's a baby pink that one is called I think ballet baby right yeah ballet baby this was the only one that I had issues with I'm going to try it again over like a pink or pearly base but this one had just such a sheer base that it didn't I don't know it wasn't just as like glittery and sparkly as some of the other colors the one that I have on my lids right now is called rose gold retro I like these though because as I mentioned they do set but you do have this small time frame where you can really go in like with your finger or brush and kind of blend it out the only time I notice like the minimal fallout is if you're to go in with your finger or brush like after it's fully set just because there's glitter in it if you were to go in with a brush and really rub some of that glitter is gonna fall off but if you just kind of leave it alone it stays in place my eyes watered or earlier today and for whatever reason whenever my eyes water instead of coming down it's like my lashes get saturated and then everything on my inner corner gets like wet and it creases and it's just always a total fail my lids got wet today this product doesn't claim to be waterproof but it didn't budge so I was definitely a happy camper one thing that I did think was worth mentioning is I work with glitters a lot normally like the violet Voss glitters I think I have some from makeup forever and typically when you use glitters and you go in with like your cleansing balm or oil when you rub it you can like feel the scratchiness of each little fleck of glitter the glitter in this is so finely milled that it kind of washes off like a normal eyeshadow. Like if you were to go in with a makeup wipe, it's going to look like a glitter bomb exploded on your face. But if you just go in with your normal cleanser and like fully wash your face, you don't feel any scratchiness. It just comes off and just like dissolves just like any other eyeshadow. So I really do like that. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could tell you besides them being incredible. Seriously, I just cannot get enough of these. Like I said, it was just love at first sight. I love them so much. So if you're a fan of like metallics or glitters, I really think you guys are going to enjoy these. I think I pretty much covered everything I have to say about them. So 
let's get into the swatches. The first shade I have here is called Ballet Baby. This is described as a sheer baby pink with silver glitter. As I mentioned earlier, I had one shade that was kind of streaky and this is the one here. Either way, it's still pretty, but I think this is one that I would apply over some sort of light pink shadow next time, or maybe just something really nice like white and pearly. The second shade is called Rose Gold Retro. This is the one that I have on my lids right now and is hands down one of my top three favorites. This one is just a rose gold with silver glitter. Next up is the shade Bronze Bell. Look at that glittery goodness. I cannot get enough. This is another favorite. It is so stunning. This is just a gorgeous bronze with both copper and silver glitter. This shade is Violet Vixen. This one is a Sephora exclusive and it's just this gorgeous metallic purple with a ton of like multi-dimensional glitter. Here we have the shade Diamond Dust. This is just a sheer silver with a ton of multicolor glitter. I think this one would look amazing over like a metallic taupe or white gold. Here we have Smoldering Satin. I think this shade and the next one is going to be a favorite for a lot of people. This is just a gorgeous deep tan with silver glitter. This one is Kitten Karma. If you're familiar with Stila, you know Kitten is one of their best-selling shades. It's campaigned with both copper and silver sparkle. Next up, we have Smoky Storm. This is a light pewter with mainly, I would say, silver glitter. The second to last shade is called Gold Goddess, and this is just a sheer gold with gold glitter. The tenth and final shade is called Molten Midnight. This is probably one of the most opaque out of all of them because it just has a black base and then it's just gorgeous, both kind of like a silvery gold glitter. So there are all 10 swatches, as you can see. They are amazing, basically made out of like angel tears and unicorn farts. I mean, I don't know how else to describe them. They are amazing. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys plan on picking these up, what you think of them, what color you wanna get. I do have a couple of other products from Stila Spring 2017 lights. If you guys are interested in those, just let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.